Hi, Mike and Andy here from Magecraft UK. Hello. Uh, we thought we'd uh, show you the three ranges of rods that we're now bringing in for trout fishing in the UK. There's three models. We have a Trapara, we have a Troutino, and we have a Fine Tail. Um, Andy, what, uh, what are we doing now on the Trapara? So just a little bit about the rod then. Um, they are built with traditional trout spinning in mind. It looks like a trout rod, it is a trout rod. Fuji guides, Fuji real seat. Quite, um, quite a parabolic action to it, isn't it? Yeah, quite a parabolic action. I like these rods, um, especially great fun, six to eight inch trout. You know, you can enjoy catching small trout all day. You've got the steeliness in the rod still, that when a big fish comes along, yeah, it can cushion it. So it soaks it up, all up with the it'll soak parabolic it. action. A big fish hits you out of the blue, you're not gonna break off because the rod has got no giving it. Right. It'll cushion the bite. It'll, it'll actually bend, I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the camera there, but it'll bend right down oh, through yeah. to the butt. Yeah. Just a lovely action. What kind of size reel do you recommend on these kind of rods? These kind of rods, you wanna be using a thousand. I wouldn't use any more than a thousand. You could step it up a little bit if, you were good, if you've got perhaps a slightly longer rod and you, you fish in a lake or a fishing area. Um, just for that extra distance, but on the streams, you don't need to hold as much line. So is it general then that the longer rods would be more suited to the area styles? Of exactly, fishing, which... yeah, exactly that. Where distance starts becoming an issue, distance of cast the longer rod. And I think we probably need to explain that whole area and stream. So Andy. Yeah, no, pro <laughs> no problem, right, okay. So area, quite simply, is a fishing lake. It's a fishing area. It could mean a reservoir, a stock pond, a fishing area. Okay. So a typical example of this in the UK would be an, an area, a, a lake where you would pay to go and day fish for trout, catch and release or catch and take. Right. That's Now, some of these are quite big fishing areas, so a longer rod would just give you the advantage of distance to cast. Right, okay. Um, the area rods generally are a little bit softer as well. Right. So we, they're le slightly less steely than perhaps what you'd find on the streams. Um, that's because some of the fish that get put into these ponds and they could be stocked in at 10 pounds you need that little soft little bit softer action so you think of the fly rod the fly rod's parabolic yeah generally quite soft and it just soaks all those big lunges from the big fish okay so generally the area rods that we've brought in are tending to have that little softer action. parabolic action yeah, just a little softer action so when we step up then from the entry level trapara um, what, what's next in the range? From the Trapara we move on to the Troutino. And, and we've got these available in, in bait casting and in uh, spinning versions. Yeah, so the Troutino is available in both spinning and bait, bait casting. casting versions. What, what's, what, what would you say is the difference is then? What, what, what are you, what's the difference? What are you stepping up? So to? the step up with that, so you're getting a high modulus, um, mid modulus carbon blank. Uh, Fuji K guides with Alcanite inserts, a custom made Magecraft reel seat designed specifically for the rod range. With a really, it has a wooden um, centerpiece, which is more like a traditional trout rod. Um, and these ones here are specifically designed for bait casters, and you'd use them with BFS? Yeah, so the bait casting range that we bought in is, it lends itself to the BFS community for the bait finesse guys. Um, you can see the Shimano Aldebrands on there, your own reels. And a lot of the guys we're speaking to, a lot of the customers that we have have been looking for rods to take on the streams. They wanna get weighed in, they wanna get what Jason, one of our pro staff calls bush bashing, where you get into the stream and you're flicking tight into, into structure. You don't want a long rod, so we've bought a lot of smaller models in. Yeah, we've got the, uh, in the bait version, I believe we've got the 3.8 and the 4.10. And I think there's also a slightly heavier up upgraded model, the L model as well, isn't there? Yeah, yeah so we've got the UL and the L, um, casting up to 10 gram in the L. Uh, but they'll, you know, you can cast, you can load up and cast a one gram jig with that, no problem, and a one pattern. Yeah, that's yeah. a one gram spoon. Actually, that's a good question. I mean, what kind of lures are we looking to, to cast with this? Would it be, is it general? Is it everything you've got in your, you know, your LRF yeah, box or UL box? They're all round rods, you can use your cranks with them, your spinners, your jig heads, whatever pretty it takes everything. Yeah, pretty much everything really. Okay, so if we step up again to the sort of like the, the, the top end rod, um, this is the fine tail. Um, we're keeping those again in the bait versions and the spinning versions. Um, 
Let's have a little look at that. What, what's the difference there then, Andy? The fine tail is the premier rod in the range. It comes with Fuji K guides with SIC inserts. It's got a another custom made reel seat. So designed by Magecraft. Um, it's a wooden reel seat, high grade cork. We have a high modulus carbon blank with a cross weave. So it's like the cross force. It's got the carbon tape reinforcing the butt. Strengthens the rod. Strengthens the yeah. rod, yeah. And this looks very different um, than the area model, doesn't it? Yeah, so what I'm holding here is the, we have two models. We have the one which I'm holding here, which is the main, the stream stage. And we also have the area stage. So the area stage carries a different look. And we're also uh, carrying the uh, bait casting area version as well, aren't we? Yeah, so the bait casting version of the area rod has been very, very popular so far. This really lends itself to the BFS so it's techniques. Got, it's got that part cork, part EVA look. Yeah, it's, very, uh, it's got it, it's less of a traditional look, really. You've got cork yeah. at the rear, you've got the carbon at the front with a red embellishment. Looks really good, especially with some of these Alvaran reels and um, sort of the, the pimped up reels the guys use these days. This is a really good looking rod. Yeah, absolutely. We're also carrying the travel rods as well, aren't we? We've got them, I believe, in Troutino and Fintel. We've just got one Fintel here, which is like a five piece version of it. Yes. It's quite amusing, this actually, because if you were to show that to most people, they wouldn't guess what was in there. No. Probably more likely to be my wife's uh, hair straightening. <laughs> Makeup collection and all that. So, the idea behind the what they class as the pack rods, the travel rods, is if you're out hiking, if you're going up Snowdonia or some of the Scottish locks on walks, you can buy a little pack rod which you can sit in the, I'm not sure what they call them, the stick holders in the rucksacks. Yeah. That will slot into there, it won't take up much room, very light. So handy. But as you can see here, you end up with a very, very high end tried spinning rod. This is also good for the commuters, so those that are perhaps using public transport to get to the fishing spots, yeah. fishing around London, working in and around London, they want to get out to the sticks, but they want to use public transport to get there and don't want to sacrifice in the quality of the product that they're using. Still got all the, the same quality fittings of, of the other fine tails. It's exactly the same fixtures and fittings. It looks exactly the same, feels exactly the same, plays exactly the same. It's got the steeliness you would expect, but it's in a pack rod. Great rod. It's the, the, I haven't seen anything of this quality available in the UK. This is very special. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. Hopefully, we've been able to answer a few of the uh, questions that you've had and to show you um, the range that we have now currently in stock in the UK. These are all available to order through um, any of our stockists. And also, even if we haven't got it in the UK, it can be ordered for you. You can get in touch with uh, Andy via social media. Yeah, if, you, if you've got any questions at all, if there's any other rod that you want specific information about, or perhaps you want some tips, you're looking to get into trout fishing for the first time, you're not sure what reel to pair with what rod or what rod to choose for your own fishing environment, hit myself up, we've got myself, we've got Jason Vorstar, who's very, very knowledgeable, very specialised in yeah, uh, bait finesse. We've got Brian up in Scotland who fishes the locks, fishes bigger waters for trout and sea trout. Drop us a message on our social media channels, our Instagram, our Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a comment in the box below and we'll get back to you. Okay guys, thanks for watching.